Hi, I'm Shuey, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make some mini hot dog rolls to serve at your next barbecue or party. Now, you are going to need to grab an ingredient that you're used to using every day, but you're going to have to ask for it to be prepared in a different way than normal. Keep watching to find out what that is. Now, everyone has their favorite ingredients they like to put on a hot dog. Our aim today is to make appetizer sized hot dogs to serve before your next barbecue or even at a kid's party. So you'll need some sausages. I went with pork ones. You'll also need some streaky bacon, two slices to each sausage, some high melt cheese, cheddar, gouda, or these generic burger slices will do and you'll need two slices per sausage. You'll also need the normal condiments of ketchup and mustard. Oh, and we'll need some bread, but we'll get to that one a bit later. And while we're here, we might as well give the video a thumbs up. Just there, that's it. Cheers. Oh, we're also gonna need a long sharp knife. Now today, I'm gonna be using a 57 centimetre Weber kettle. So I'll start by filling a charcoal basket with unlit briquettes. That way I know exactly how much fuel to use. I'll pop that into a chimney starter and light it up. Once they are all lit and ashed over, I'll dump them into one charcoal basket on one side of the charcoal grate. Then I'll put the grill back in place. Then I'll put the lid on open all the vents and I'll give the grill about five or 10 minutes to warm up. This setup style is known as indirect cooking and we should get somewhere between 150 to 180 degrees Celsius in temp. And it just depends really on what type of fuel you're using. It's now time to check out what type of bread we're using. Now brace yourself and relax. I know some of you are gonna freak out when you don't see a bread roll. And you'll be saying to yourself, this is not how we make a hot dog. And you'll be right in saying that. But this is how we make a mini hot dog appetizer. Now, you will need to go to your local bakery and ask them to slice a loaf of bread lengthways, not across. And also be prepared for them to ask you three times, are you sure that's how you want it cut? and they're just gonna look at you like you've got two heads. Just assure them that you know what you're doing and ask them to slice the bread the way you asked. And then you should get long slices like this. But we do still need to do some work to this bread. I can take the edges off in one action. So once the crust is all removed, we just need to flatten that bread now. So using a rolling pin, just carefully flatten out each piece of bread. By all means, use a glass if you don't have a rolling pin. Just make sure it's empty first. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? It's as easy as hitting the subscribe button. And while you're there, you might as well hit that bell button too. That way you'll be notified of every new upload. Cheers. So when all the slices are rolled out, we can get on to the next step. And surely that's having a beer. The grill's warmed up for 10 minutes, so we can now get these pork sausages onto that cooler side of the cooking grill. Now I tend to line them up in the grills. This will just keep them straight while they're cooking. We can also add half the bacon to the cooking grill. Just remember, don't put anything over that direct heat though. So just put the lid back on, making sure the vent's over our food, drawing the heat across. We're just gonna leave that alone for about 15 minutes. So the first batch of bacon is ready to come off. We weren't going for crispy, we just wanna cook it a little bit. And then we can get the second batch on and cook that as well. We are cooking using a medium indirect heat today of 150 to 180 degrees Celsius. All up, our cook's gonna take 30 minutes. Or for those of you who like to use my beer timer, you're looking at a one beer cook. You'll know when the sausages are ready by checking their internal temp with an instant read thermometer. Being pork mince, they need to be reading 74 degrees Celsius. So these are ready to come off the heat along with the rest of the bacon. So with all the bread pieces laying out, we can add a little ketchup and mustard to each one. And just using the back of a spoon, spread that out over each slice. And now we just wanna add two slices of bacon to each piece of bread. 
And next up, we just want to add two slices of cheese to each one as well. Next up is the sausage. And you just want to roll that up. And I'm going to keep mine in place with these little metal grill pins. So that's it. All I do now is I trim off the ends just to neaten it up. And I'm going to cut each one in half. Now these can go back on the Weber on that cooler side just for three minutes. Just enough time to start melting the cheese and toasting that bread a little bit. We do not want melting cheese running everywhere, so time this. Don't forget by liking this video and leaving a comment helps me out a lot, costs you nothing. Also, if you share it with a mate, they might make it for you. You can sit back and have a few drinks. Cheers. Well, that's it. It's time to grab them off the heat mini hot dogs. Now you know these are going to be a hit at your next barbecue. Cheers for watching.